say amen. 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 We appreciate our drummer and our keyboarders. Amen. Our pianos. Amen. But we appreciate you, Bob. Welcome back, brother. Amen. Amen. So I said, we just take your time. Thank you so much. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Amen. We've come to it now. It's preaching time. Amen. Amen. So we ask you to stand. And let's go into the book of Nehemiah. Starting at chapter 13. Again, it's the book of Nehemiah. Starting at chapter 13. Starting at verse 14. Chapter 13, starting at verse 14. Amen. And when you have it, you say amen. amen. If you're on your way, you say amen. Amen. Right. amen. amen. <laughs> That's the book of Nehemiah, the Old Testament, chapter 13, verses 14 through 22. Excuse me. All right, the Bible reads, Remember me for this, my God, and do not blot out what I have so faithfully done for the house of my God and its services. In those days, I saw people in Judah treading wine presses on the Sabbath and bringing in grain and loading it on donkeys, together with wine, grapes, figs, and all other kinds of loads. And they were bringing all of this into Jerusalem on the Sabbath. Therefore, I warned them against selling food on that day. People from Tyre who lived in Jerusalem were bringing in fish and all kinds of merchandise and selling them in Jerusalem on the Sabbath to the people of Judah. All right. I rebuked the nobles of Judah and said to them, What is this wicked thing you are doing, desecrating the Sabbath day? Didn't your ancestors do the same things so that our God brought all this calamity on us and on this city? Now, you are stirring up more wrath against Israel by desecrating the Sabbath. When evening shadows fell on the gates of Jerusalem before the Sabbath, I ordered the doors to be shut and not open until the Sabbath was over. I stationed some of my own men at the gates so that no load could be brought in on the Sabbath day. Once or twice, the merchants and sellers of all kinds of goods spent the night outside Jerusalem. But I warned them to say, why do you spend the night by the wall? If you do this again, I will arrest you. From that time on, they no longer came on the Sabbath. Then I commanded the Levites to purify themselves, go and guard the gates, in order to keep the Sabbath day holy. Right. Remember me for this also, my God, and show mercy to me according to your great love. Amen. As you go to your seats, let us leave it to your subject, keeping the Sabbath. Amen. All right. All right. Keeping All right. All right. the Sabbath. Amen. Keeping the Sabbath. I start out this, this morning with a question. What examples are we talking about you, Pound, showing the next generation about the importance of, of observing and honoring the Sabbath day? Yeah. Uh -huh. remember, remember actions speak louder that works. Come on, somebody. Amen. 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 Now you come a little bit back, back off of that heat. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, what I'm saying here is don't just do what I say, but do as I do. Come on, somebody. All right, all right. Now. Keep the Sabbath day holy. The Sabbath day in the past was observed back in the day. Was observed, uh, was observed and honored yes. as a day of rest. But wow. well, what are you talking about, preacher? Well, oh, some of you can remember now. now I, I ain't trying to tell you to tell your age, but some of us remember. Mm. On a Sunday, that all the business. I remember that. Yeah, 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 were closed. Yeah, the stores were closed. There wasn't no shopping malls open. That's right. Yeah, yeah. entertainment venues were, were, were closed. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Observe the hour, the Sabbath, as a day of rest. Church 
Yeah. For worship and rest yeah. each week. Mm -hmm. And to observe a regular time when you just make the effort and put the time in to worship and rest as busy as our schedule, Lord. Come on, somebody. All right. All right. I, I would imagine Pastor know what a busy schedule is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you can put time, put the time in, put the sacrifice in. To worship and rest on the Sabbath day, demonstrate how important God is to you. Uh -huh. Amen. I mean, you know, we just talked about this morning in, 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 in Bible study about how important it is. It's a difference between lip service and faithful service. All right, now. Yeah, you can talk for me in game, but your action speaks louder than words. Right. Yeah. Don't tell me that you love the Lord on Sunday, but I see you act a fool. Mother do Saturday. Come on, somebody. <laughs> Action speaks louder than words. And the Bible said men from the city of Tyre uh -huh, were living in Jerusalem. Uh -huh. And they brought in fish and other things. Come on. They sold them in Jerusalem on the Sabbath day uh -huh. to the people of Judah. Now, Tyre, Tyre was a large Phoenician city and a port on the Mediterranean Sea. And the Venetians were a seafarer people. And their merchant ships ventured all over the Mediterranean Sea, making the city very wealthy. Uh -huh. And Nehemiah said, now, I don't like it, but the, the important people of Judah, all, all you important folk, uh -huh. all you folk that got money, all you folk, all you folk that think that you somebody, I argue with it. <laughs> and I said to them, now, what is this evil thing? See, sometimes you got to call a sin a sin. All right, now. We got today now that all the saints are trying to get fit into the gray area. We don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. But God, sometimes you got to, you got to hurt somebody's feelings. Amen. Amen. You got to knock them down in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody. Right, yeah. I don't know where we got this thing in that we don't want to hurt nobody. Uh -huh. Sometimes I got to tell you, when you tell the truth, the truth hurts sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. If every Sunday you leave out of church and you feeling good about yourself, amen, something Wrong that the Bible and the Holy Spirit ought to convict you sometime. Amen. In the Word of God, when you leave out of here, yeah. oh yeah, you think, Lord, what must I do to do better? Mm -hmm. All right, all right, mm -hmm. my Lord. Yeah, I talked to him folks. Yeah, point I said to him, he said, now it wasn't no easy discussion. He said, I'll argue with him. I just come to tell you, sometimes you stand for the Lord, saints, you got to make a stand. Oh, yeah. And I told him what's right. What are you doing? You're ruining the Sabbath day. Uh -huh. And God had commanded Israel not to work on the Sabbath. Right. But to worship him and rest in remembrance now of creation and the exodus. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When we talk about the creation, we refer to how God formed the world, yes, the did. beast, and how he formed, he formed man. Yeah. The exodus refers to God delivered the Israelites yes. from slavery, from, from, from old Pharaoh. The Sabbath rest was to, was to last from sunset Friday to sunset Saturday. Mm -hmm. And then we ain't got nobody complaining about that. Everybody know that the Sabbath is actually on the Saturday. Am I right about it? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. We only celebrate the Sabbath on the Sunday. We have a Christmas thing because of the resurrection. Come on, somebody. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Whether you do it on the Saturday or Sunday, that's not no reason to get to the argument with nobody. No. You remember I told you me and the brothers to argue, I was wasting time arguing about what day should we go to church. That don't really make no difference. If we don't argue about, we need to argue about how we're going to get folks saved. Come on, somebody. Amen. 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 And not only was it to be observed by the Israelites, but it would be observed and honored by visiting foreigners. Yeah, you, you, you come out of town, you are honored to stop. And even the farm animals. Come on, somebody. How the farm animals going to sin unless you can put them out of the field? They ain't going to get out there by themselves if you doing no work. <laughs> and then I said, now this is, what, this is just what your ancestors did. Yeah, they, they were tripping too. <laughs> so our God did a terrible thing to us. And then. And he said, now you are making the same mistake. You ever seen folks that keep making the same mistake? Amen. He said, man, you not only you make the same mistake, now you have made God angry. He might have been mad before. He angry, real angry now. Why? Because you should have learned from your mistakes. Amen. You know, I, I was raised up with an old saying that once you know better, you do better. Amen. 
once again, you are ruining, you're desecrating the Sabbath day that's supposed to be holy. In other words, Nehemiah was, was holding God's people, holding those noblemen accountable for their actions. It reminds me when you go back to Joshua 24, verse 15, when he was holding folks accountable. Account. You remember the verse that and if it is evil, in your eyes to serve the Lord. Choose this day whom you will serve. Whether the gods your father served in the region beyond the river or the gods of the Ammonites, in whose land you dwell right now. All right now. But as for me and my house, right. I said, for me and my house, All right. I don't know what you're doing in your house, but I hope in your house mm -hmm. that you're serving the Lord. The people were working on the Sabbath, their day of rest. They considered making money. Y'all, does that sound familiar? They considered making money more important than keeping God's law. And if they will repent, if only they will repent, will repent and put God first in their lives. You know anybody like that? All right. God promised to honor them among the nations. God promised to be their joy. God promised to be their keeper. God promised to be their protector. Uh, yeah, yeah. So knowing that they're about to some steps. I guess the argument wasn't really going as well as he thought it might have been. <laughs> so he said, I ought the doors shut yes, at sunset before the Sabbath. All right. All right. The gates were not to be opened until the Sabbath was over. Amen. I put my servants at the gate. Mm -hmm. So no load, no traffic could come in the city mm -hmm. on the Sabbath day. All right. Jerusalem's busiest Sabbath trade directly violated God's law. Yeah. yeah, you might think you're doing good. Don't you know money don't make, make it right with God? All right. So Nehemiah commanded that the city gates be shut and traders be sent home every Friday afternoon. All Get on right. out of here. All right. As the Sabbath hour approached, uh -huh. God recognized that the law of money would conflict with the need for a day of rest. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. All right. So trade was forbidden inside the city on the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. Understand, by honoring God first meant they refused making money their God. Mm -hmm. Life often makes us choose between pleasure and profit yeah. uh -huh. or putting God first. Yeah. Remember Mark chapter 8 verse 36. And it simply says, for what will it profit a man? Right. If he gains a whole world uh -huh. yeah, yeah. and loses his own soul. Yeah. What I'm saying here, I want you to look at your work. Look what you're doing right now. Look at your worship hats. And you ain't got to tell nobody, but look at it and look at the mirror in yourself. Is God really first okay. in your life? All right. And the Bible said now once or twice, the traders and sellers of all kinds of goods spent the night outside the room. Now, you remember the first order? I told them to go home. Get out of here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that I said, now, I, I warned them again. If you do it again, you let my man tell you that you do it again. <laughs> you say, I'll force you away. Oh, you won't get out of here. <laughs> and the Bible said after that, now they, they call the message. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's like going around there and rule them, man. That, hey, that guy crazy. <laughs> but anybody know that the devil stay busy? Yeah. I said, anybody know that the devil stay busy? Yeah. Yeah. All the time. So understand this. We ain't going to say the law and that we're not going to sell anything on the Sabbath. We're going to close the gate so nobody get in to sell anything on the Sabbath. So these go to set up these tents outside the wall and shit. Pitch their tents and conduct their business selling to the country for those that didn't live inside the city. So actually, they were still working on the Sabbath that the dog He said, then I ordered the Levites to put themselves, to purify themselves. I told 
Yeah, we're going to get a little bit more attention to this thing. This, hey, they, they just ain't getting the picture. They were to make sure the Sabbath remained whole. Okay, now. And here, Nehemiah says, because of the effort that he put, because of the, when he noticed sin, that he reacted quickly. He now has a privilege. Don't you know you have a privilege that you're able to come before God? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. It's not a right, but it's a privilege. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. And because he was faithful, he comes before God and says, God, remember me mm -hmm. for this. Mm -hmm. And have mercy on me because of your great love. I come with a question, what can on your last day, when your time comes, will you, what will you put on the table to tell God, remember me? All right, all right. Remember the sacrifices I made for the kingdom mm -hmm. of God. Yeah, yeah. Remember how I love my name, mm -hmm. Reverend Dog, and right, myself. All right, all right. right Love my enemies. All right, all right. Nehemiah asked God to, to remember him. Mm -hmm. And I don't know about you, but it reminds me of this song. And uh, the song says, uh, Pass me not, all right. All right. All right. oh gentle Savior. Yeah. It says, uh, Hear my humble cry. All right, all right. Uh, and it, it says, Why?
confess Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. Yeah. Romans chapter 10 verse 9 says that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So we have anyone in our sanctuary, amen, on our phone line, or on our live stream at Facebook Live, amen, that wish to accept the Lord Jesus into your life amen. today. We ask for you to repeat after me the prayer of salvation. Lord Jesus, forgive me for all the wrong I've done. I confess that I am a sinner. I believe you died and rose again for me. Come into my heart. I confess you now as my Lord In your son Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 If you have accepted the Lord Jesus Christ this morning, this ministry, we say welcome to the family. Amen. Well, Jesus chapter 2, verse 19 says that we are family, that you're no longer strangers or foreigners, but you're fellow citizens in the household of God. Congratulations on making a life changing decision. I don't know where you live, but we ask you to recommend that you join that local church in your community and be baptized. If you don't have one, we ask you to join Pine Line or follow us on our social media. Amen. Join us on Thursday evenings at 6.30 p.m. on Facebook Live or our church conference call number at 760548. 93054, our Thursday Bible study. For the Bible, let us know that my people perish. For the lack of knowledge. And also, if you believe in the power of prayer, we encourage you to join us at 730. Amen. Again, I'm 760 548 9305 for our Pine Line Prayer Call. We believe and we know that we serve a prayer answering God. Yeah. And the Lord has moved your spirit to help us in our ministry financially. Amen. For we, we go forward, much forward the, for the kingdom of God. We send donations to Pine Line Good Epic Baptist Church. Until we meet again, my friend, that, we be, that you be blessed. Be encouraged.